turning Xavier Ratan Mays away and Isaac Humphreys. There's a wall at the end for Dejan Vasiljevic. Okwera fed by Ray John Tuck. Adelaide 36 is in the Phoenix. Phoenix have to fly back on Christmas morning. A lot of those, the coaches and players with families is Okwera hits a much better three. In the Here's Xavier Cooks. Thought about going over the top of the power that is Isaac Humphreys. Justin Simon chases his own missed shot. Mays has to go. His shots aren't working so far. Aguero grabs the offensive forward and makes good. The possessions at the moment crucial. Aguero. Tucker given an eternity. Maybe too long. He left it short. Rakan Mays. He'll just keep firing. There's one. But in that game against Brisbane, had one three-point attempt and made it. Aquera, he's making threes, and they need a few of them now. Ten the difference. Three minutes. Here's Aquera going to work, getting inside. That's good for his confidence. Of this season, and uh, he is really just getting himself warmed up. The foot was on the line, so just the two points is now Illy will fire away. Yep. Now Illy, feeling good about himself. Oh. I'm told maybe about a 15 minute Ooh. limit. Is the word coming through for Shay Illy tonight? We'll keep an eye on those numbers. Golding did well to get some separation. This time he gets it. Yeah, Lockie's a great worker. Someone who I, I absolutely love playing with. <laughs> Someone I wish we could have played more as well. He's, uh, he's an order. Social media excellence that he has performing every single day. He's got a, a plethora of moves and he's, he's so hard to, to defend. Aquera again, another block. Do it on both ends and then finds Ratan Mays. The most athletic guy, but he just knows where to play, knows where to get his little spots. And Thomas tries to go right at him at the other end. See there, Perth haven't lost four in a row since December 2018. 127 games ago. So they are in uncharted territory as Aquera with a good finish. Jeez, he's doing some good things out there. Cotton wants everyone to clear out, and he attacks the rim, and Aquera says, no way, get out of here. And the crowd are up and about at this one, and his teammates appreciate what he's delivered in this game. That's a heck of a stat. Haven't lost four in a row since 2018. Mm. It's uh, before the old southeast Melbourne Penning for even born. I mean, Jordan Caroline's going to be that Jack White replacement. That's the idea. Here's Ray John Tucker. Trying to make something happen. Aquera, catch and shoot, okay. triple. This is a preseason game, which, like I said, it, it means something, Liam, and it don't mean something at the same time. But for the young guys who don't get a whole lot of playing time, it's good for Lockie's confidence, but you still need guys like this to... Here's Rattan Mays, finds Aquera. He turns down the look from long range. The fadeaway, the mid-range is down. Tough. Now that margin's back out to 13. Look, Porty, strong finish underneath. His first here against that very team as the full-time head coach, as Aquera puts up. Drawn up a scheme that's certainly working. Golding goes to work, lowers the shoulder. Aquera rattles it home. Here's Webster inside. Manic blocked. Rejected by David Aquera. Characteristic flings it back into play. Travers can't come up with it. Tucker in the open floor. Huge amount of scoring punch and experience, and experience in big games too. Champion, three-time champion. Quera beats the shot clock. 27 points is a new game high lead. Quera kisses it high off the window. Go at it tomorrow night. Illawarra and Adelaide. Adelaide are in your Big three, Corey is a Quera, nice. They've scored off their last two possessions. O-board by Quera, back out for Dave Barlow. Here's Newley, steps out. An uncontested putback. The imports shining on opening weekend. Derek Walton Jr. last night, Corey, for Sydney was superb. Oh man. Just as good. Drop off for Aquera. And now they're doing nothing special with the breakers. They're just slowly getting through their sets. And anytime there's a breakdown, there's Aquera. It's Brantley in the air. That's going to be an M1. 
Aquera checks back in. Malawatch off the glass, Aquera. Right there, he remembers <laughs> the first half. <laughs> I'm not going to be in that poster again. Grab the tie pants. And that'll be another beauty as well. Cairns, they're going fantastic. Very, very long season. But if they're willing to share it, do what we need to do. They're a good team, man. And led by five at quarter time, Perth have very quickly changed that to start this second. Grab Aquera, WA boy, back playing in front of some family and friends tonight. They'll be happy. That muscle memory, he knows where the rim is and he's able to get it up. <laughs> he, he just knows where it is. That's it. Golding v. Cop. Oh, David Aquera, big move. Shot clock at 10. Extra pass. Oh. Clinical from Melbourne. Came in, gave really good minutes against Perth. Nine points, three boards, a couple of dimes, and just got into all the right spots at the offensive end. Aquera, wide open. That's Justin Simon to contend with, so life just got a lot harder for him. Caroline. Settles for the jumper. Aquera, nice put back and a little win over Xavier Cook. Melbourne staying in this game and Golden. No such thing as an easy game here in the Hungry Jacks NBL. Your Tazzy, David Aquera from long range. And now he's got 10 points. Nice pass from Caroline. Unless they have a miracle this last 30 seconds <laughs> and get more than 77, they will be the lowest scoring team in the competition. Good to see it's finding the bottom of the net early in this third quarter. Aquera inside, spinning his way and spinning it home. So many great Australian athletes in all sports doing well in Birmingham earlier this year as Aquera. Wow what's happening on the, the strong side action because we know they're not going to get any help from his player. Here's Aquera in the open court. Look out. They've won one final quarter for the entire season and Illawarra have only won one as well. Well, that's that definitely that is. That's a great pass. Aquera takes it inside and soars to the hoop. Harvey wants to get involved. Step back three. Way offline. Almost tipped home by Deng. Aquera in the open floor. Malawatch lays it home. What he does do is set this up for a Hawk play to... Oh, it's taken away. Really test and will test Humphreys, but Humphreys runs the floor well. There's Aquera with a... And this is a huge step up for what he's normally... The level he's playing at. And threw it on the feet of Golding, but he was awake to it. It's not his first rodeo. Aquera scores! And the attention of detail on the offensive end. Here comes Rattan Mays, the lob for Aquera! No one in front. On defense and sending the guys to the line, would they consider playing the zone? And I know Gazy hates zone, so I maybe shouldn't have asked that question. Lead changes left and right. Aquero with the treble. The win last week. He was the man who caught fire in the second half. 10 of 19 for the field for the game. Trying to find a way through and pass Mitch Creek. Instead involves Aquero. And one. It's a critical stage. He's had a fairly decent stint on the bench as well. Oh my. Barker, Peatley, Aquera, and Golding to finish. Yes. Dying seconds here for Adelaide 36 is to try and come up with a bucket. Johnson is and is available to come back as the game. He's just popped some pills, <laughs> a bit of water in the mouth and switching around. He's ready. Oh, I read it like a book. Thanks, Drew. Took over three minutes played in the opening quarter. Good battle so far. Aquera works down low, takes on Doyle and finishes over the top. Needs to get more involved, Majet. His shooting has been not to the standard he'd like tonight. He's none of four from the field, Josh Majet, after being three of 17. Well, here's Marcus Lee and Aquera putting it on the deck. Tough shot, shot down by initially by Brockhoff, but... Yeah, this might be the Hawks' first home game since November 3, more than a month, but the crowd is out and making some noise. They don't care. They're Sometimes can be tough for the young families, but they've turned out. Here's Golding. He wants a 1,000. 
This is his first attempt. We'll try again. And there's nine. Another thing that Dean Vickerman told us pre-game is they want to get a bit more pace into their offense. And that's a good feed into Lee. Let's get this second half going as Chris Golding will launch straight away. Ratan Mays, who had a quiet first half. After going one of seven a couple of nights ago against the Phoenix. It's his fourth offensive rebound. David Aquera. And he sends that one into the front row. And he can be a really good defender. He's got the speed, he's got the strength. Aquera, way to lead, adding another two. Enterprise. So Illy brings Melbourne back up the floor. Good start from them. Aquera fires, good option. So they need to stop Brisbane. They need to themselves back into the equation on the score but if we're a quick release too and he knocks down new things they'll have things that i don't know yet from this new age of basketball and i'm sure he's the same helping a lot of the adnan tried to feed joe chi and they lose it again newly aguera get one coach lose rage on tucker Let's find a little bit of space maybe he doesn't need it kicks it out to aguera he nails the three they started fast, Melbourne. And here they come again. Golding for his third. Offensive foul. It does not matter. When you practice them all as part of your workouts, you're allowed that freedom. Aquera. He's going to have to step up in the absence of Barlow and Humphreys in his scoring account. What a season show McDonald's had. I see he's Hello. Oh. Good pass. Well, it looked like a kick ball there. It doesn't get called, but ends up in a turnover. Funded here by Harry Froling. Aquera decides to fire, and that's all the bottom of the net as well. The I don't think the style of play has suited Harry. Brisbane are second in the in the competition in pace, and that just really doesn't suit his game much. I think he needs more.